Hey guys, I'm back yet again. What we're going to look at this evening uh, is a kit. I'm going to do a kit review. I haven't done one in uh, a while, uh, almost two weeks. And what I've got for you tonight is actually a brand new model. Uh, this just released. Now it's um, a Tamiya. <laughs> no surprise, right? You guys all know that I love Tamiya. So it's a Tamiya kit, um, but it's a bit of a rebox, actually. This is a uh, Italeri kind of rehash kit here. So this is what I have for you. So it's the Sonderkraftfahrzeug 4 Streitrich 1 Panzerwerfer 42 or just um, Special Vehicle uh, 4 version 1 with the uh, Rocket Launcher 42 which is the 15 centimeter uh, rocket launcher which by the way had a ton of explosive power. The vehicle itself I'm actually not that familiar with. It's obviously a, a half track. It's not the Schwerer Wehrmacht Schlepper. Obviously, this is a, a much lighter vehicle. And I believe these began into service in, oh, 1942, 1943. So you can see the Italeri logo on the side. And we've got a beautiful picture uh, box art here. If you look at this side, we have vehicle representation it does come with two crew figures figures excuse me now Tamiya did add um, a sprue to this kit and I will show you that this box art we get to see another uh, bird's eye view um, you know, box art of the vehicle and then a nice photograph of the completed model in the traditional Tamiya style but let's uh, go ahead and open this thing up and take a look at the plastic inside we have individual individual track links decals or decals depending on what side of the Atlantic you live on instruction sheet and sprue bag so we'll get to the Tamiya parts now Tamiya has supplied this sprue uh, I know I've looked at this kit before so there's no surprises here um, this is the Tamiya sprue and basically this came from a uh, Panther loading crew uh, or tank loading crew uh, accessory set it's really actually pretty nice so this is the one sprue that uh, once again that Tamiya added to the kit let me pull this out for you and let me zoom in so you can get a better look at the detail so it comes with ammunition crates Obviously, the two loading figures, one handing you know ammunition up to the other guy. Uh, the Panther wheel is a nice addition, even though a Panther wheel doesn't really have any place on a uh, uh, a half track. So nicely detailed ammunition crates with wood grain texture and recessed panel lines. Nice looking locks. The figures look pretty decently detailed. Uh, several types of ammunition, of course, which won't be used in this kit. Uh, you'll notice here we have. 8.8 uh, .8 centimeter. This would be for a KWK 56, a Tiger gun. This is for a KWK 40. This is 7. Point, excuse me, 7.5 centimeter ammo, ammo here. This would be for a KWK 42. That's for a Panther, the long 7.5 centimeter round. And then there is um, this is for the King Tiger. The uh, oh, I forget what that one is. A KWK 43, I think. For the long 8.8 centimeter rounds, but so this is the 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 Tamiya sprue included with the kit. All nice crisp detail. Uh, there is just a touch of flash around some of the figure parts, although that will clean up uh, nicely enough. And there's a kitty cat. You got to be kidding me! I didn't see that. There's a kitty cat right there. Uh, anyways, so it comes with a cat. All right, let's move on. Individual track links. Um, I am a little worried about these. I'm going to go ahead and cut these open, though. They are very, very tiny. They look um, relatively clean. I don't see any ejector pen marks on them. There are some straight sections to be used. Uh, those are included. I don't know if I'll try to replace these or not. I've never done any individual link Italeri kit track links before. If you guys can see the detail here. It's not terrible. Uh, it's pretty crisp, actually. I'm not surprised. And I'm not seeing any ejector pin marks. So, hey, you know what? No complaints there. And there's four sprues of these individual track links. And they're tiny, 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 tiny. All right. So there's the track links. And, okay, now this sprue bag is um, actually consists of two sprues. 
and some rubber, actually some pretty nice looking rubber tires. Let's go ahead and take a look at this and uh, let's form an opinion. So far, this kit doesn't look that bad. Now this kit is a very affordable, if of course you buy it from the right dealer. I bought this from Tokyo Hobby and I paid, I don't know, a little over 25 or $26 for it. I'm sure if you try to buy it from a local dealer, um, since it's a brand new Tamiya kit, you're gonna pay through the nose. So, two sprues. Um, what we have here is obviously the upper hull, lower hull sections with some nice detail. I, I did briefly look at the instructions and the, they have supposedly included some rivets that you can shave off the plastic sprue to add some additional detail. There is an engine provided, which is kind of nice. So there's some super detailing opportunities there. You notice these are the tubes for the rocket launcher, the Nabelwerfer launcher. Some nice looking anti-skid texture here. Let me go ahead and zoom in and you guys can take a, look, a closer look at these sprues. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So this is kind of a different subject for me. I usually do tanks mostly. I've done a few vehicles. Good looking uh, anti-skid texture here. Engine looks really nice as well. These uh, dished wheels are good. It even comes with some jerry cans. Um, the ejector pin marks, from what I can see, are all in places where they're not going to be a problem. Um, unless you want to leave some of these doors open. There are some ejector pin marks here which would need to be removed or filled. Yeah, I think you could just sand these off. Uh, but that's that's not bad at all. So this next sprue um, has a lot of the running gear and the suspension. You'll notice the coiled spring arm. Those are really nicely molded. I have to uh, give it to Italy that. The rockets. And the rockets are, wow, they're one piece. So no seam to remove. And, uh, I don't see any mold lines either. That's uh, that's a bonus. Those, all, those will come out nicely if you're going to super detail this kit. Here's your transmission differential, you know, your your axle housing. The road wheels all look pretty good. The drive sprockets. This is a pretty small vehicle for a half track, all things considered. I'm sorry, I really don't know much about this vehicle. But these parts, the uh, um, vehicle tools, the grab handles, all really look pretty good. I mean, for example, look at the detail on these uh, toolboxes here. These clasps look um, really nice. The uh, Look at the detail. There's actually wiring detail on these rocket launchers. Now, those are in two halves. Removing the seam from that might be a little tricky, depending on uh, how Italeri allows, allows us to attach them. There's a nice-looking uh, detailed uh, frame for the vehicle. And I'm not seeing these rivets they were talking about. Not sure where they put those. Not sure at all. So that was really the last sprue. Now, the decal sheet is very basic. Uh, traditional Balkan Kreutz, um, some tactical and divisional emblems. It looks like Wehrmacht only. That's all there is to that. And let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the instruction sheet. Zoom out for you. Traditional Tamiya fold-out booklet so, style, yawn, you know, um, but you can't fault them for the quality of the instructions. Their instructions are always excellent. I would doubt the Italy in, the instructions look this good. Uh, we begin construction um, of the motor. Now, of course, all the paints are going to be in Tamiya color callouts. Not a problem. I've got most of these Tamiya colors in my, uh, my paint um, collection paint stash, however you want to say it. Moving right on into the chassis, uh, running gear and wheels, into step four. Step five, we, we then begin attaching the running gear to the left and right hand side of the hull, then in the track assembly. And I, of course, you guys know that with my builds, I always do the tracks last because I want to paint the wheels separately. Then we begin construction of the fighting compartment. The interior of the vehicle, it's going to have uh, pretty limited detail since the vehicle, of course, is going to be closed up. We're just simply not going to see that. Uh, let's see. On to step 10 and 11, here you're touching the fenders that have those really nice looking toolboxes on the side. 
pretty straightforward. Step 12, 13, um, doing hatches. Uh, of course, I, I guess you could mold these open if you want. You're just not going to see a lot of detail. 15 is, here's the fun part. We begin to assemble the launcher assemblies. There is going to be a seam on either side of that. Um, I don't think removing that's going to be too bad. I don't think there's a ton of detail there. So the majority of that sanding, uh, there's not going to be any detail. If, if ever there was an application for a flexophile for these launchers, that would be it. And now here is the instructions for the Tamiya included portion. Uh, you have instruction on how to assemble the figures and paint them. There's some stenciling for the rockets um, that are included in the decals. That's nice. Here's an MG-34. I've looked at the MG-34, by the way, and it's um, a little soft on detail. The separate Tamiya set um, is really, um, it's better than that's when it, when it, what's included with this kit. I would probably replace it. Shows you how to assemble the ammunition crates. And... That's pretty much it. It only calls out one um, one vehicle option. Just the one painting and painting option. No, there's two. I take that back. There's two. So there's two options for the vehicle. One of them is the 7th Werfer Brigade, Normandy, France, 1944. And the other one is Unknown Unit, Eastern Front, 1943-44. So I, this is what I thought. This is a mid-war, late-war vehicle. But... Uh, Overall, guys, it's actually not a bad kit, uh, even considering it's Italeri origin. Uh, first time I've ever really reviewed an Italeri kit. It's kind of a rebox Tamiya. Uh, this, of course, once again, this is the sprue that Tamiya includes with the, the kit. Uh, the uh, lo loading crew is Tamiya. Everything else is Italeri. But considering the price, uh, if you buy it right, please remember that. I, I think it's a pretty good value. So uh, I give it thumbs up. But thanks again for watching, guys. I hope everyone has a great week, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.